Today I'm going to show you pretty much everything you need to know about jet turbines. Red jets have 90 seconds of fuel. Therefore, if the jet speed is set to 100, the max distance a red jet can travel is 9,000 studs, meaning you can get to the end with a single red jet if you don't go through the stages. Here is a table I made for every jet speed's max distance. And here it's for purple jet, which has twice the fuel, so 180 seconds of fuel and another speed option. A cannonball is just slightly faster than a jet. Jet speeds are very simple. For example, jet speed 100 means it's going 100 studs per second, and 50 is 50 studs per second, and so on. And there's a limit in the stages where it lowers your speed to only 50 studs per second. A big downside of jets is that they only have one hit point, so anything can take them out. Do planes sometimes not fly straight? It's because there is multiple moving parts on it like servos, wheels, parachutes, balloons, springs, bars, ropes, hinges. But you can use pistons because the game still counts it as one solid piece, so it does not affect the flying. A jet weighs around 204 kilograms, or slightly more than three titanium blocks, or around 73 wood blocks. Have you ever wondered how big jet forces are? They all keep going up by exactly 10x except for the last one, which is infinitely high. The first jet option has a force of 1 million newtons, or roughly 5,096 kilograms, or 5.1 tons. So this means it can lift 77 titanium blocks plus itself. I added a single titanium block, and it doesn't lift off the ground anymore. The second jet option has a force 10 times higher, which is 50,968 kilograms, or almost 51 tons, and that would be 808 titanium blocks plus the jet weight. And so on for the other options except for the last one, which really is infinite. I tested it with 1.7 billion titanium, and it lifted it like it's nothing. And here are the block densities, because in the how to measure mass video, I forgot about cobblestone. I made a flying ship that's the perfect weight, so it's just barely going up, and you can steer it with your own avatar's weight. Just for the info, Roblox avatars weigh around 14 kilograms, but it depends on your body parts. But the problem is, jets only have 90 seconds of fuel, and delay blocks are not accurate enough to make the flying time longer. And lastly, how to weigh stuff with jets. Here, I have a very heavy car, and I'm going to weigh it with jets. As you can see, it has over 800,000 blocks inside, so I am going to use the fourth jet force option. I just connected the wheels together with plastic because it has no density, and so the entire car is only one moving part and the jets will fly straight up. Then just start placing jets and experiment how many it needs to lift the vehicle, and make sure everything is unanchored. And I found the limit it can fly with 10 jets and cannot fly with 9 jets. Now we just have to do some math. So I only used 4th force option jets, and you can take the force amount from this table and multiply it by the amount of jets, which is 9 and 10 for me. And I got these large numbers which I will round them up into tons, and we get the final weight in between 46 and 51,000 tons. You also need to subtract the amount of jets weight. But in this example, it would make almost no difference. I will weigh this car as well, so you guys can understand it better. I scaled plastic through all the moving parts so the jets will fly straight, 
Then I just experiment again until I found the limit and you can also use different strength options for higher accuracy. And the car starts flying between three to four jets, which are all on the lowest force option. Now we take the first force option and multiply it by three and four, and we get the mass in between 15 and 20 tons. In this example, I will subtract the jet's weight because it makes a bigger difference, which gives us a final mass of in between 14.7 and 19.6 tons. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that wasn't too hard to understand.